ready to ride the rails with us at Rocky Railroad VBS? Quest Church is so excited to have you all on board. Hey, as we get started, I just wanted to mention a few things to you. When you got the kits on your front porch for VBS, you would find these amazing Bible Buddies. Now these Bible Buddies will be talked about each day of VBS. However, I want you to know that these Bible Buddies are also your ticket to a lot of super fun games on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Just type in Rocky Railway Buddies and watch your Bible Buddy characters come alive in these awesome apps. Now we've, we've provided these little hooks for you to go ahead and put your Bible Buddies on each day. And if you want, you can actually take those Bible Buddies and make a stand out of them as well. So you can have them on your ring or you can make a stand and put them on a desk or a table while you play with those in our fun app stores. Now, our second thing I want to draw your attention to is your wristbands. In your kits, you each received an awesome wristband. And these wristbands are going to be a reminder each day for you to watch for God. Now, I challenge you, see if you can keep it on all week long as you pay attention to where God is moving in you and around you during Rocky Railroad VBS. Now, go ahead and have a grown-up videotape you telling them where you are seeing God at work. Have them send the videos to me at the link provided here and guess what? You will be seeing those again at the end of VBS. We're going to compile a whole big video of different kids saying different ways that they have seen God alive and at work during our VBS week together. Friends, I hope that you have an awesome VBS day, and I can't wait to see what God is going to do. Good morning and welcome to Rocky Railway VBS. We're so excited to spend the week with you. My name is Jeremiah and this is Courtney. We are your conductors this week. We're gonna have an awesome week here at VBS at Quest. We're so glad that you have taken the time to come and have a fun, a fun week with us as we sing. So we're gonna sing some songs together. And right now we're gonna start off, we're gonna kick things off with a song called Your Love Powers Us Through. We're on the right track oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh.
imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel far away or go up a big hill. Not many people ride on a steam engine like this anymore. Jeremiah, tell me about a time that you've ridden on a train. We rode on a train right here in Monticello a couple years ago. It was during the Polar Express. That was pretty cool. That was. That was really neat. Um, and steam trains get their power from steam engine. Um, and it's pretty cool. Inventors figured out a way to capture steam and turn it into power. Enough power for a train to pull thousands and thousands of pounds over tall, rocky mountains. And trains have the power to cross miles and miles of deserts carrying things to people who need them. Man, these trains are super powerful. When I hear the word power, I also think of like superheroes. Oh yeah. Those guys are pretty powerful. Uh, you know what I think would be kind of fun to do right now? I want to see your your coolest, your biggest superhero pose. Actually, Ziri, come over here right now. Give us a super cool superhero pose. Right here, stand right here. Let's see one. Go. Let's see it. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. pretty powerful. So why don't you at home do you, you do a pose just like how Ziri's doing, or do your own? Do let's your see, own let's pose. see those powers. That is pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh look at you. Oh my goodness, that was an awesome pose. Thanks for sharing. Wow. Strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think about when we hear about power, but God has more power than any of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and forgive and comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. Jesus is, Jesus is God's very own son, and he has all of that power too. This week, we'll be talking about how we can trust in Jesus' power to help us every single day. And later in the week, you'll hear about the life-saving power of Jesus' blood. But right now, we're going to sing some more songs and have some more fun as we sing Power in the Blood. how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. That's our Bible point. So today, whenever you hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, you're going to respond with, Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! And as you say that, you're going to reach up and pull down like you're pulling on a train's whistle, and you're going to say, Trust Jesus! Let's practice. Ready? Jesus' power helps us do hard things. 
trust Jesus. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull us through when things get tough. The Bible says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! He gives us the strength we need to power through sadness or confusion or mad feelings. So we're gonna sing a song about Jesus' awesome power. This is called the Power Shuffle. Awesome job on that. Hey, this week, every day, we're gonna introduce you to a new Bible buddy. It's gonna be pretty cool. These Bible buddies are animals from the Rocky Mountains, and they're gonna help us to remember our Bible point each week. So we're gonna meet our Bible buddy here in just a second. And this Bible buddy, every time you see him today and this week, they're gonna help us remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! So we're gonna meet this Bible buddy, and then we're gonna sing together everywhere I go. Hey there, friends! Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! 
If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus.
I wonder if we could find someone who can tell us what happened. Wait, wait. Hey! Hey, over here! D excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here? <laughs> Friend, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I don't just work on the trains, I drive the trains. Name's Cam Track. I'm an engineer on the railroad here. Oh, well, well, hi, Cam. I'm Angel, and whoa, an engineer with a name like Cam Track? I mean, you must really love trains. Well, when you know these trains well as I do, they become deeply a part of you. Uh, that's pretty deep, but maybe you can help us? My friends and I heard something about a rock slide. Oh, well, you heard right. Some of these huge boulders rolled down the mountain last night, landed right on the track. Oh, wow, that could cause some real problems. Well, it can. In fact, my crew and I were supposed to take care of an engine down the mountain this morning. You know, it's a good thing I'm here to take care of it. <sighs> uh, so, you think you're really strong enough to lift a massive boulder? Well, I think I do. In fact, I know I can. Uh, well, there's some rocks over there. Why don't you, why don't you warm up on those? Easy peasy. All right, here, here we go. It's just too hard. Okay, well, well, it's all right. It's actually funny that you say that because today we are learning something and that's that Jesus power, Jesus power helps us to do hard things. See, we all have hard things to do, maybe like taking a test at school or standing up to a bully or even saying goodbye to a friend that has to move away. Well, all those things sound really hard, but I've already shown I'm not strong enough. Well, none of us is strong enough on our own, but we have a friend and his name is Jesus, and he is always ready to help. Well, this Jesus guy sounds like a person to be friends with. Maybe I'm going to go try to figure out how to get this boulder off the track, and maybe well, Jesus can give well, me an idea. Well, hold on, maybe well, as soon as my friends and I are done here, maybe we can figure it out together. Well, that sounds like a great idea. All right, you all. Bye. See you <laughs> hey, soon. See you soon. Hello and welcome to Bible Adventures for Quest Church Online VBS. I am so, so, so glad that you're here with me. It is so fun to, to see you and to be able to spend this time online together. Um, this week in Bible Adventures, we will be going through several real, totally true stories from the Bible. So if you want to reread or read the story from today's lesson, you can look in your Bible in the book of Acts chapter 9 to read and review what we're going to talk about today. So pretty exciting. All right. The next thing I want to tell you about is throughout these Bible adventures, we will sometimes have time to discuss with your family, your siblings, your parents, whoever you're doing this VBS with, things, questions that I ask you about. And so whenever I do ask you a question, when it's time to discuss, you can just push pause on your remote or on your computer or whatever you're watching it on. And I will hold up this sign to remind you to pause, discuss amongst yourselves, and then push play whenever you're ready to go on. So you can take as much or as little time as you need to discuss and, and talk about whatever the topic is. So we're gonna do that right now. So sometimes there are things that come hard for us. Sometimes there are things that come easily for us. For example, it might be hard for you to dribble a basketball, but it's easy for your friend to do that. Or it's easy for you to play the flute, but your friend cannot figure out how to play a musical instrument whatsoever. So everybody has different things. It might be hard for you to do math, easy for your friend to do math, hard for your friend to do science, easy for you to do science. So I want you to take a minute, discuss amongst your people, 
What's easy for you to do? All right. I hope that you were able to come up with a few things because I know there are some things. Everyone's got some. Now, this one sometimes is easier for people. I want you to take a moment to discuss something that is hard for you to do. Okay. Well, cool. I hope that you, you learned some things about yourself in that. So we all have things that are hard for us to do. Jobs that seem too big to do or stuff that seems too complicated to even try. When you run into something like that, this is what I want you to remember. Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! I can remember a time when I had something hard to do. It was when I was about like 10. Whoa, Ananias, what are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm hiding. Hiding from who? From everyone. Well, that's not gonna work. Can you just tell me what's going on? By the way, everyone, this is my friend Ananias. Ananias, these are my new friends. <laughs> Hi, people I don't know who are your friends. So why exactly are you hiding? Well, I'm hiding from Saul. He's here in Damascus. He, he wants to arrest anyone who loves Jesus. And I love Jesus. Oh yeah, I guess you haven't um, heard that. No, no, no. He, I know, he's, he's thrown lots of Jesus' friends into prison and he's here. Uh, but no, I guess you haven't heard well, that. Well, no, no, about how, how Jesus appeared to Saul and how a, a bright light shone around Saul and, and Saul heard Jesus' voice and then Saul fell on the ground and how then he was blind and how his buddies led him here to Damascus. Yeah, I did hear all that. Okay, so why are you hiding? And why are you wearing those sunglasses inside? Well, it's, it's my disguise. I, I, I can't believe you recognize, oh, now you've blown my cover. Uh, trust me, it was not working. Also, cool bathrobe. Thank you. It's my special summer outfit. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Okay. So this morning, you'll never guess what happened. God came to me in a vision, and he told me that I should go to Street Street, and when I got there to ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. Wow. And then, get this, I'm supposed to lay my hands, place my hands on Saul, and pray for him so that Saul will be able to see again. Okay, cool. Why are you here instead of doing what God asked you to do? Well, but think about it. If I do that, Saul's blind, if I do that, and I pray, and God heals him, and allows him to see, who's he going to see? You. Me! And then he's going to want to arrest me. Do you know what Saul's been doing to Christians everywhere? He throws them in jail. He throws rocks at them. He, he locks them up. Why is God asking me to do such a hard thing? I don't know. Maybe my new friends here know something you should know. What do we know, guys? Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Okay, but this is a, a really hard thing, a super hard thing, and I'm afraid, I'm not sure I can do it. What might happen to me if I obey God? I mean, have you ever had something hard to do and, and you weren't sure you could do it? I have, and my friends have too. We were just talking about that. All right, let's do something. It's easy to talk about trusting Jesus, but what does it really feel like to trust him? We're gonna try something. Okay, here. With want, me? Yep. Mm -hmm. I want you to turn like this. Okay. Stand okay. stiff and straight. Okay. And then I'm going to have you fall backwards and I Wait. am going to catch you. I know falling backwards on purpose is hard and it's mm, scary. It's, it sounds scary. Is that how you're feeling about going to see yep. Saul? Yeah. Well, let's just try this. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Well, you caught me. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's give everyone a chance to see.
see how that looks like. So I hope you have someone around that you can find and have try the trust fall with. Okay. All right. Yeah, can you tell me about this? This is a really interesting sign you have here. And what is it? Hold on. Is that writing down there? What is that? This? Yeah. This is a Bible verse. Oh. Yeah. See? What does it mean? This is a verse from the book of Philippians. Hasn't been written yet in your oh, time. Oh, okay. But in my time it has. Okay. Okay. Interesting so, how that Philippians, works. Philippians, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. This is our verse for today that we can remember that we can do Jesus, everything. Jesus can give me strength, especially yes. when I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh. So you know what God has asked you to do. You know you're not alone and that we've all had hard things to do. And you know this. Jesus' Jesus's power, power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Now, all that's left for you to do is go and do what you need to do. Are you ready? Would you feel better if I prayed for you? Yes. Prayer is just talking to God. So can I talk to God and ask him to give you the courage to do what he's asked you to do? Yes. All right, let's pray. All right, dear Lord, I just pray that you give Ananias the courage as he goes to meet Saul. I thank you that when we have to face hard things, we don't have to face them alone and that your power will help us to do those things. Amen. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going now. Uh, it was good talking, this is actually super helpful. You know, I just felt like I wasn't doing great, now I'm doing a lot better, so, uh, so I'm just gonna get, yeah, I guess I don't need my disguise anymore because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! See you later. See you I'll see you all later. Wow. That is going to be really cool to hear how that all turns out. Well, it sounds like you have to go now. Thanks for visiting me today, and I hope to see you tomorrow for another totally true Bible adventure. Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to see what incredible things we'll discover about Jesus' power this week. We're going to have so much fun together. But before we get started, 
I need to ask you something. Who brought their imagination today? I was worried you might forget your imagination since this is the first day of EBS. So I was talking to my friend Ramsey. I think you met my friend Ramsey earlier, right? Well, Ramsey is a bighorn sheep. And he told me that him and his friends love living in the Rocky Mountains. The mountains are so beautiful and the scenery is so spectacular. But Ramsey said that sometimes it's kind of hard to live in the mountains, especially in the winter when it snows. That's when Ramsey's sure-footed feet come in handy. Ramsey's feet help him do hard things, like walk on slippery, snowy mountains. Even when it snows, Ramsey knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! There, that's better. I think your imaginations are up and running now. And that's a good thing because each day at Imagination Station, you'll get to be part of fun activities and experiments that help us discover more about Jesus's power. And you'll get to play with an awesome sciencey fun gizmo every day. We'll get to our first activity in a minute. But first, I have another question for you. How long do you think it takes a baby bighorn sheep to be able to walk and climb as well as its mother? Does it take six weeks or one day? Think about that and decide on your answer. Okay, I need a loud drum roll before I reveal the answer. Make a drum roll with me. And the answer is, a baby bighorn can walk and climb as well as its mother within just one day. Imagine that. Let's get back on track. Grab some paper and a marker to make your own train tracks. Draw a train track from one end of the paper to the other. You can draw mountains and trees, streams if you want, and curve it through the Rocky Mountains. You can even add fun stickers if you have some. I'll give you a moment, have fun. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! You know, sometimes we all have to do hard things, and we may not understand why. We may not be able to control what's happening. 
our lives seem to be going in all different directions. Let's see what that's like. This is my off-rail roller. Go ahead and grab your off-rail roller pieces and I'll lead you through how to put it together. To assemble your off-rail roller, first lay out all of the pieces. You should have two black circular pieces. One has a flat side, the other has a bump in the middle. You'll have two straws, a long straw and a short straw, a rubber band and a paper clip from home. The first step is to thread the rubber band through the paper clip. This paper clip is going to act as a needle. It should look like this. Take the black piece with the bump on the outside and using the paper clip, thread the rubber band through the hole. You should have the rubber band coming out one side and a paper clip coming out the other. Grab your large straw and pull it through the rubber band. Using the paper clip, pull until the straw is flat against the outside and stays in place. Then take the other black piece, the flat circle. Use the paper clip to thread again through the hole. Push the two black pieces together until they snap in the middle. Then pull the paper clip and the rubber band apart. Be sure to keep one finger in the rubber band so you can thread the short straw. When you're finished, it should look just like this, a long straw on the side with a bump and a short straw on the flat side. Now pick up your off-rail roller, holding the short side in your hand, wind the long straw. Do it several times. The more you wind it, the longer it will go. And we're off the rails. Take a few minutes and experiment with your off-rail roller. You might want to try it on some different surfaces. You could even try to keep it on your paper track. After a few minutes, you'll hear the train whistle when it's time to come back. Have fun!
off-rail roller and put it inside a baggie. If you happen to have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's Bible point that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! All right, that's it for today. We'll see you back again next time at Imagination Station. Welcome to Kid Vid Cinema. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Tim and we're going to have an awesome week together. We'll get a chance to dive into God's amazing book called The Bible, and we'll watch videos about real kids telling their real stories about the amazing power of Jesus. Have you ever looked up at the night sky on a clear night to see all the stars? I love doing that. I love looking at the stars in the night sky. They remind me of how amazing God is. That's one of the things we're discovering here at Rocky Railway VBS. We're discovering that we can observe God and what He's doing all around us. If we learn to look, we can see evidence of God's love everywhere. The wristband that you have says, Watch for God. And it can remind you to watch for what God is doing all around you, all the time. When we see God at work, we call that a God sighting. Your Watch for God wristband can remind you to keep your eyes open and watch for God right here, right now. You can wear that band on your wrist or maybe on your arm, even on your ankle if you want to, wherever you'll see it and remember to watch for God. I hope you wear it every day during VBS and even after VBS is over. God's love and power is all around you. Your wristband can remind you to watch for God every day. I'm excited to discover more about Jesus' power this week, and I'm also excited to watch our KidVid videos. You know, it's pretty cool. When we watch these videos, we actually are watching for God. The kids in the videos are real kids, just like you. And Jesus' power helps them just like Jesus' power can help you. Today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. In today's video, we'll meet a friend named Dominic who loves to do karate. Does everybody know what karate is? Karate is a sport that focuses on self-control while it strengthens your body and your mind. It involves special kicks and movements that may seem hard to do. As you watch today's video, they'll be on the lookout for the hard things Dominic has to learn. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle way, way and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't gonna pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm gonna pass this and I didn't. Failed and I failed and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. 
My three day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. What a cool video! Dominic sure has had some hard things to succeed at in order to succeed at karate. Dominic loves karate even though it's hard. What's something in your life that you like to do even though it can be kind of hard? Talk about that with maybe your friends or your family who might be watching VBS with you. I'll give you about 10 seconds. Time's up. Thanks for sharing your stories. I love that we get a chance to talk here at Kid Vid Cinema, that we get a chance to know each other a little bit better, and it sure sounds like we have a lot of hard things we're doing. How did Jesus help Dominic do the hard things we saw in the video? Jesus is always with us, and he knows about every hard thing that we face. Dominic work hard, works hard just because he loves to do karate. Some parts of practicing aren't very fun, but Dominic knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Sometimes we miss out on something fun because we're afraid to try it, or maybe we're afraid that it would be too hard and we might fail. And other times we may just avoid a situation that we don't want to face at all. A situation that's just plain hard, like when maybe you get sick or maybe your parents go through a divorce. But I know a verse in the Bible that can help no matter what kind of hard thing we're facing. This verse has helped me many times in my life, and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's dig in today's, into today's verse, and remember... The, uh, the cool uh, Bible memory buddy that you have with you, and the verse will be printed right on there. In Philippians 4.13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. What a great verse for today, when we're discovering, especially when we're discovering, that Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. This verse tells me that no matter what hard things I have to do or have to get through, I can do it because Jesus will give me strength and power. You know, I remember seeing an Olympic gold medalist diver for the United States one time who said something to herself before every dive. A TV person asked her what she was saying, and she said that she was reciting this exact verse. That's pretty cool. If a gold medalist can use this verse when she has something hard to do, so can we. Think about this. When we love to do something, it's worth it to us to get through the hard parts, isn't it? Let me ask you this. Is there something you'd like to try, but you haven't done it because it seems too hard? Think about that for a minute. We're going to do something now you know, as, as a group here. I just ask you to think about something you'd like to try, but you haven't because it seems too hard. Let's talk about this maybe with the, the people that you're watching VBS with, about these things that are, that are a little too hard. And I want you to put your name in place of that. So let's say that you have a hard time on the monkey bars at the playground. And my name is Tim, and I might, I might say to myself, Tim, you can do everything through Christ because he gives you strength to do things like cross the monkey bars. I'll give you about 10 seconds to put your name into that verse. Hmm. Thanks for sharing. I can see this verse encouraging us in lots of different ways. But even though we all face different situations and have different hard things to do, Jesus' power never changes. Jesus is with us all the time and his strength and power are always there for us. I don't know about you, but I think that's an amazing promise. Let's thank Jesus for that right now. We're going to make this verse our closing prayer for tonight. Dear Lord, we believe your promises, and we believe we can do everything through Christ who gives us strength. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow. Welcome to our very first Rocky Wrap-Up. I'm Courtney. I'm Jeremiah. And each day we will gather together to sing some songs at the end of our VBS day. Now, Jeremiah, we were just introduced to a really cool bighorn sheep named Ramsey. What'd you think about him? Ramsey's a pretty cool bighorn sheep. Exactly. Uh, 
bighorn sheep are custom made to travel up steep mountains. And when you see Ramsey, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! And so we're gonna sing a song here to close us out, but before that, would you pray with us as we close out our time together? God, we are so thankful that we can come to you and worship you through Vacation Bible School. And we are thankful for all of these teachers that came today to teach us different things and tell us different stories. But more than anything, we just love you and we want to get to know you more this week through all the songs and all the activities that we're going to do. We just thank you so much and we love you and we are so thankful for how powerful you are. Amen. Amen. All right, would you join us as we sing our last song this morning? Your love will power us through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all to put God's love into action. This year at Quest VBS, we are learning about the country of Ecuador, and we will be learning amazing stories about awesome families who need some help in Ecuador. Some of the families who live in mountainous areas live in poor conditions and need an animal that might be unfamiliar to you. They're called alpacas. Do you know what an alpaca is? If not, be sure to Google it with mom and dad. I think you might be excited to learn some awesome new facts about alpacas. Well, 
for families in Ecuador. An alpaca given to their family means 10 pounds of warm fleece every single year. This fleece can be used for clothing and for warm blankets. And the awesome thing is, alpacas are known to live around 20 years. So that is a lot of warm clothes and a lot of warm blankets for families in need. Alpaca fleece can actually be sold to other people as well. Whenever a family is able to sell the fleece from an alpaca, this helps others in the community to get a resource that they need. It also helps others to stay employed in their community. Those who work with the fabric, those who are making products made from the alpaca's fleece are able to have jobs that they didn't have before. Selling these items also helps families to have the resources that they need to buy food, and clothing, and to have shelter, and to pay bills that they might need to pay. Most importantly, the money that we are raising as we send alpacas to Ecuador is going to help provide education for families who receive the alpacas to know best how to care for their animals so that they can have their alpacas for a very long time. Now friends, what we're doing at Quest VBS is simply asking for $10 to send each alpaca to a family in need in Ecuador. $10 will help to send an alpaca to a family in need for approximately 20 years. Now, as a family participating in this VBS, we just ask that you think about how you might want to participate in this particular mission and how you might want to provide an alpaca to a family in Ecuador. If you decide that this is something that your family does want to do, we simply ask you to place your money in an envelope and that envelope will be picked up at the end of VBS. We will do a safe porch pickup and we will collect the money when VBS is over. Now, if Quest VBS Kids raise $200, which is 20 alpacas for families in Ecuador, we have an exciting thing that we're going to do. We are going to do a bucket of ice water over the head of Cam. Now you've met Cam already in the opening and closing times of VBS. So you know the kind of person Cam is and he might get a little excited with a bucket of ice water over his head. So that is our challenge to raise $200 for families in Ecuador so that we can provide 20 alpacas to families in need. Friends, I ask that you be prayerfully considering how to best support this mission, but most importantly, pray for those families in Ecuador that God's love might be shown to them through Rocky Railway, VBS, and all of the kids involved.